My name is Anita Bodicher, and we are here at Tumacacari National Historical Park. This is the site of an old Spanish mission. The Otam Indians were the native people who lived here originally. And in 1691, Eusebio Francisco Quino, a Jesuit priest who was assigned to this area, first came to this community, contacted the people. Actually, they came to him first and asked him to come to town. But he arrived here in January of 1691 and decided that, yes, this was a good community for there to be a mission. And uh, mission doesn't just mean the church. We've got a beautiful church here that we preserve, and people come here to see that structure. But the mission actually was a, an entire community. It was, it was the way that Spain took possession of their lands by teaching the native people already living here on the land how to live in what they considered, Spain considered to be the, the most modern way of life. So that involved new ways of farming, new types of seeds, domestic animals, and Catholicism, all of this all together, building with adobe. So the structure that when you come here to Tumacacri that you actually go into and see is the second church that was built by the community. That church was built starting around 1800. The community built a much smaller church that you can see the foundation of off to the right of the church that is standing. And that was built uh, and was in use by the 1750s. Then they decided they needed a larger church and that is the one that still exists today that you will come and see when you come to the park. When the Spanish first arrived in this area, the Otan people were already living in very substantial homes made of a uh, woody structure, mud applied to it. They already had f somewhat permanent villages, although they would move around as needed. And they were already farming and irrigating in their own style that they'd been doing for, for thousands of years. But uh, when the Spanish came along, they learned different ways of farming, different ways to do what they'd been doing. They had additional things added to what they farmed, new seeds. So uh, by the time that this church structure that is here was built, the people had learned to build with adobe. They were living in adobe square rooms like we're more familiar with. And they had learned the techniques and they built the community themselves. They built the church themselves. Something people are often surprised to find out is that the people of the community actually did invite Kino to come here originally. And we have to assume that's because they knew about some of the things that would come with being in a mission. And like the new seeds, like protection. And so people joined the communities of their own accord and then they were building the community themselves. It was a communal setup where they all farmed together, they all built together, and they lived together. So there was the church structure, there was a convento beside it, and that had communal rooms. The priest would have lived there. They would have had rooms for catechism, kitchens, things that the people shared. And there were rooms uh, that the people lived in, houses. There, uh, the river is a very important part of the life here. The community of Tumacacri was originally along the Santa Cruz River, which is currently about a quarter of a mile to the east of the site that you visit. You can walk out to the river. There is a trail called the Juan Bautista de Anza National Historical Trail. And that is a trail that goes all the way, actually from the border with Mexico, all the way to San Francisco. And that trail, which is in the park system also, the National Park Service system, that trail commemorates the route that Juan Bautista de Anza, the captain of the Presidio at Tubac, which is three miles to our north, that uh, he took a large group of settlers and animals and took them up through here up to San Francisco to found the community that has become San Francisco. And you can walk on that trail, you can get out to the river, uh, and that trail passes through the park. <laughs>